I'll show you today how to design this type of creative poster in Photoshop. So let's get started. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, going to the file and going to the new options. From here, we'll take an artboard which is uh, from the print tab and here we'll get the letter size and hit the tick button and after that going to the file and going to the place and mirror options i downloaded couple of images which is uh, for the stock image one two and three so at first i'll import this one place this photo and after that make this one bigger okay i'll place it a little bit of side of this canvas and now right press and rasterize the layer and rename this one bg photo fine and this is unnecessary layer i'll delete this one and now i'll go to the solid and take a little bit of ash type okay and place it in a downside of the photo so this photo i have to make this one uh, like a black and white so how to do that and the shortcut is command or control u for the hue saturation tool and i'll make it like that and now i'll change up the uh, settings like a uh, soft light overlay so overlay is good if you don't want to like uh, strong uh, in the back uh, you can use the soft light or hard light it is the um, strong one vivid light strongest one so i would suggest you to use the soft light fine now going to the adjustment layer and going to the solid color we'll choose this sort of uh, color uh, and now we'll make this one overlay or soft light i would suggest you to use the hard light okay it will make the contrast and in this uh, portion i would uh, like to use some noise going to the filter going to the noise option add noise so convert to smart object i'll add some noise over there and hit ok in this portion uh, the bg photo i would like to make the fill color a little bit up down and the color of the hard light i'll make the opacity a little bit up down that's fine now time to add this so if you want to match the color you can choose the color from here so the color was little bit up like that and hit the save button yeah that's fine and now uh, this photo i'll bring that photo and i'm making making the opacity up and this opacity and fill color up yeah fine and going to the file and going to the place embedded options here is our two photo one is like that and another one is like that i would like to show this photo okay going to the place options and it will be upper side of all layers so i'm making group the bg layers our bg layers and now i will cut the photo by the help of this uh, tool which is the object selection tool just select in a uh, subject uh, photoshop will automatically select all the things if some unnecessary or necessary area now uh, will lift into the quick selection tool and uh, press the shift and hold it and other area will select fine now going to the select and mask options going to the smooth and going to the uh, edge shifting like that okay and after that going to the new layer with the layer mask and hit okay so our photo is cut that fine and now uh, apply layer mask okay fine and making this one a little bit of bigger fine now the shadow and everything so i would like to delete this and take a blank layer going to the shadow portion so going to the brush uh, reset the foreground and background color color by pressing press the d from the keyboard press ctrl or command t make the shadow like that okay make this shadow more squeeze like this yeah that's fine make the shadow opposite it down press ctrl command j one shadow will be upper side 
and opposite will be down and one shadow will be long that's fine okay control command t that's fine so one is underside and another one is the upper side fine now time to text so before that uh, i want to make this photo into little bit desaturate control shift a for the camera filter and i'm here to make the desaturation here is the color options make the vibrance little bit up down and the saturation little bit up down but going to the color mixture i'll uh, make the red color up okay that's fine and hit okay that's fine and now time to uh, draw something like a photo and text so this is gir girl fine controller command u i'll make this one desaturate and a little bit of up contrast control or command uh, shift a and from the light panel contrast will be up and everything okay texture will be like that and hit okay so after that time to text so making this one group providing the name girl girl and going to the text tool writing like uh, S I G N A T U R signature photo fine. Control command T make this one bigger. Okay. I'll make it white or it could be like this. Fine. And now another text and taking the normal font uh, suppose like poppins poppins like regular photo press control command t make this one rotation and make this one bigger that's fine photo and these should be underneath of this girl layer okay i'll make it white that's fine and another text will be fashion okay that's good these two text so fashion text will be underneath of the photo layer okay that's good and now i'll mask the fashion this one and uh, g from the keyboard make this one a little bit up like this okay that's good and the photo layer you can uh, like uh, copy this uh, layer mask you can do new mask going to the mask and uh, g from the keyboard now fashion this should be like that okay one thing is that uh, select here the basic one otherwise uh, it don't be like that that's fine so those are the text like behind text text Okay. Control command T. You can make this one a little bit up like that. That's fine. So uh, this portion is done, or you can do the signature one to over there. So now other things. So here I used some uh, demo text like this. This one and the lorem ipsum one. So copying this one control command v and i'll take those so all the steps you can place over there okay that's fine and now uh, after uh, upside of the bg layer i'll add some gradient over there so these gradient should be blue one so selecting the basic one and select over there and select the color from here and hit ok and hit ok and hit ok so this gradient will help you out to uh, make the background base will be separate from the others so in this portion uh, let's see the other pole other pole should be like uh, this not too much yeah that will match with the background that's fine so 
using uh, after using that we are getting like that uh, if we don't use that this photo will overlapping and uh, we don't get the uh, proper base where the model model standing over there so now you can make the opacity a little bit up down okay fine now upside text those are the same thing the demo text control command t and upside okay so one thing i uh, just apply over there the same same font but uh, different uh, like uh, font types suppose i just use here the extra thin so uh, you know that the font has some family like uh, here i used the poppins poppin uh, poppins uh, extra thin so here is poppins and extra thin okay fine and for the contrast making and the styling i just used started with the uh, the bold one this one the poppins bold and the rest of the font uh, i use the extra light so after using that make sure all the layers in the middle of the artboard that's fine so signature photo lorem ipsum and everything i just making another text options so body text fine and now this should be color adjustment fine making another group color adjustment copying the name of the group and making the name over there so our all groups are sorted i'm providing color over there violet and uh, yellow and orange red and it could be the green one so saving this out in our directory like uh, poster design for fashion okay we saved it out and now time to mock up i downloaded a mock up uh, so here is the smart object double press over there it will open up new window and uh, this design you should save into the jpeg version so here i'm making the size smaller that's fine so again going to the mock-up double press in a uh, like smart object going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i'll just place that poster which we made earlier or like that and hit uh, like cross it out when the save uh, window pop up save it out and it will save in this window you are getting the presentation as well so you are doing the simplest thing but uh, in a different creative way it will make sense and make this one different or uh, difference between the other poster and the mock-up is most important because of you are doing design you should do the good presentation which is uh, usable in a real life and which is uh, the uh, difference between a good designer versus new designer so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification until the next video asmr signing out today bye bye